So here's an old um, Canon lens for an FD mount. So this is a Canon 50mm lens and it's got a manual aperture ring. So you can adjust the aperture manually um, along with the focus. So this lens is really good for macro photography because you can mount the lens in a reverse orientation with this reverse ring. So you put a reverse ring on the front of the lens, attach it to your camera, then the lens is back to front. That means that you've got when you've got a small object here, it gets magnified to fill the sensor on the other side. Um, and by having this manual aperture ring, uh, it's useful to just on the, on the go um, change the aperture as you see fit with the macro photography. Um, however, using this lens, you need to adjust the back ring um, so to release this catch mechanism so you can actually um, manipulate the aperture in the reverse orientation. So as you see here, um, you see the aperture down there? When I twist the aperture ring, that isn't changing at all. And what you can actually do is um, just twist this part of the lens, the inside bit. This usually mounts onto the camera, and then when you twist the lens on, uh, this automatically happens. But since we're doing it in reverse orientation, we need to do this manually. Now you see these two little catches? There's one catch there, one catch there. Uh, we need to push those down both at the same time and then twist this black bit around. Um, what you can actually do is if you just apply force to the, um, the black part and then push each one down, it'll gradually go. Because as you're applying force and pushing down the latches, the latches stick, so you can gradually ratchet and then eventually reach the part where it spins around. So now you'll see that the aperture is uh, fully open. Um, so this, sh where are we at? Okay, so it's fully open, but that's because when we push this lever down, the aperture moves. So now we have some manual control of the aperture, but we want this to stick here. Um, let's see. At the moment, we're on uh, 22, so I can bring that down to 1/8. 1.8. Now when I move the lever, nothing's happening because this is wide open. Let's go to 2.8. We're getting some movement there. And then, let's see, where should we go? 8. There you go. Your aperture's closing when this lever goes down, so really what we want is for this lever to just stay in place. Um, I do that by uh, sticking a little bit of plastic used to use a piece of paper folded up, which is a terrible idea because then you get all the fibers go into the lens. So at the moment I'm just using this piece of plastic. Let's see if we can get that in. There we go. So now we're holding down that lever. So it's um, stuck in position, stuck in the closed position. So now we can just adjust the aperture ring. Oop, where are we? There we go. And that aperture is going to move around as we desire and stay stay wherever we leave it. So there you have manual control of the aperture in a reverse mount orientation for your macro photography.